Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another Airbrush Asylum pre-live video. So recently we had Drew Blair out, um, the international artist known for his photorealism. If you don't know who he is, definitely check his work out. Uh, he ran his course here, which was a Golden Eagle photorealism course uh, for four days and that has been completed now. There were some videos that we filmed of the course in action, so if you're interested, jump on. I'll put some uh, links in the description and you can check those out. Um, so prior to him coming out, we were working on a computer case with a jellyfish artwork. You may have already seen the sample panel that we did just to um, give that a go prior to working on the computer case just to get the colours right. Um, that is now well underway. I've pretty much finished the um, feature jellyfish. There are more to come, like there's more detail in the background and everything I've got to do. So let's go check that out first. Um, let me just come over here and I'll spin this camera around. So here we have the computer case. So what I did first was I prepped it all, so sanded it with a scotch bright pad, degreased it, um, and sprayed a house of colour marine blue over the entire case. You can see here we've got some chrome stingers. So I rendered these in chrome so that they tied in with the whole futuristic style of the computer case. So I'll just zoom back in. So to get that effect I used three different colours. Um, this is all done with freehand, so I used uh, white to start with, then some blue for the reflection, a little bit of grey on the lower part, and then came in and did like that horizon line to give that chrome effect Then I, uh, with a thinned out black. Then I went back in with some um, real strong white highlights just to get that illusion of metal. You can see um, they are coming out of the organic stingers. So we've got that peeling away and then panning around here, we'll show you the feature piece. So this is the completed jellyfish, the feature piece. And you can see all the little details there. Now the colour scheme, as I mentioned, it is done with a UV orange, but it's a Trident water-based paint. So she wanted um, some fluoros to be used so that they could be activated and a bit brighter with a black light. So I started off, again this is all freehand, I started with white, mapped the whole jellyfish in, then I added in the fluoro orange and that pinkish colour. Then once I did that I started rendering and deepening all my shadows with a violet and you can see I added all the texture with that as well. Then I went back to my white, did some white highlights, sort of just to give that transparency appearance. Then once that was completed, I used a thinned out black. So I mixed the black with uh, transparent uh, base and reducer, and I virtually just pulled out all of the detail and shaded over the top of the pinky and purpley tentacles, or stingers, whatever you want to call them. And then I came back in with my white and I did these other stingers that are in the foreground. So I did them all freehand as well. So that one's completed. I'm going to do some more sort of seascape in this area. We're going to have some feature, uh, some jellyfish, smaller ones in the background and just sort of some light rays and stuff coming down as well. And then on the top, a bit of a water level. So it's going to turn into a complete seascape, which will be pretty cool. Now the way I transferred this onto the actual computer case, just pan around here just to give you another look before I show you how I transferred it on. So I actually used brown paper and I did my sketch. So I just did it with grey lead first, then outlined it with a sharpie so I could see through it. And you'll notice that I've drawn over the top with a uh, HB pencil, that's to transfer the chalk, because once I'd drawn this out, so this is all to scale, you can see my marks here of where my joins are for the case. What I did was I used a chalk pencil on the back, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, um, and drew through the back of, like on the back of all of the lines, and then using the paper I lined that up on the computer case and then 
with the HB pencil, transferred the chalk onto the, um, onto the case. And then from there, I could seal it off with some transparent base, or you can even use uh, SG100 Intercoat Clear. And once I did that, then I was free to airbrush on top. So that just seals the chalk in so that when you press down for air, obviously you're not blowing away all your detail. All right, so let me just flip this camera around. There we go. So that's it for today. Just a quick video to show you guys what we're up to with the uh, Jellyfish computer case. I hope you like that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, check out sort of the other videos below. So I'll link those Drew Blair ones up and I may even put a link into the, uh, the actual sample panel that we did with the Jellyfish um, before we did the case. All right, so just to test the artwork and all that sort of stuff. Um, all in all, if this is your first time, Love to have you hit subscribe and join our community. We try and do one to two videos a week. So hope you do enjoy these. We also do other um, tutorials, step-by-steps, quick tips, um, and much, much more. So feel free to hit subscribe and um, tap on that bell icon to stay notified. And until next time, I hope this has in some way inspired you to go away and create some more amazing artwork. So until next week, get your airbrush, Get into some painting and we will catch up with you very, very soon. Thanks for joining us.